Welcome to episode two of Building with Captain Mind Play. Do 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 do. It's a really old fashioned police station. This I took inspiration from another build. This I took inspiration from another build. But this I came up on my own. The reason why I did dripstone block, because it reminded me of that bulletproof metal. And so I used it and it looks pretty it looked pretty bad. Here's pretty much what it looked like. It didn't look very great, it was very blank. Then I added those walls you see right here. And then I didn't then I added windows. It still looked pretty odd. Then I actually added this sign I was pretty proud of. Lease sign and Unicode um block like emoji blocks. And it still didn't look very good. So then I probably did the best thing I pops possibly could. I decided to add gradients. Now I actually I was thinking about a recent B dubs video I watched. I was looking at how he took certain spruce gradients. He took a spruce build and then added this purple purple terracotta. And I thought, well, why would he put that? But then after a while it actually started to look pretty good. And I started about thinking I started about thinking placing blocks. It didn't necessarily fit in. So once I added the gradients, I added a strip jungle wood, which doesn't exactly blend in very well, but it adds a very, very nice effect. Just look at that. Isn't that really cool? Then I added um, a then I added a dark oak trapdoor trim that goes pretty much all the way up along it, and then I added all the little machinery bits on the back. Who knows what he does? Who knows what in the world these are? I mean, this is a thermal camera. This is a air conditioner. I just added a little bit of kind of odd things there and, and other things there. You even have security cameras. And so I just detailed the back and just filled it with all a bunch of machinery. Then I even added a little security system to get through. You have to give in, you have to import a very specific password to get in, which I, I, I forgot. Since we forgot, we're just gonna sneak in here. And it, and it is intentionally kind of dark especially in this garage here. And so I'm trying to build a city, and this is actually gonna, this is gonna be the main police station for the entire city. We have a bunch of records, and supposed to be like records of, just records of maybe, I don't know, criminals or things, or just, or IDs and stuff like that. Or people who live in the city. Nothing's, no, none of the books actually have any information, but that might change one day. And then we have a little table, to read the criminal inspection locked when we can put books in here. We even have a the note left behind by a criminal. We have people down here watching. I mean, uh, and they uh, watching whoever comes in. And for anyone to come in, yet I mean, even if they enter their ID, there has to be a certain switch activated. If this switch, to this switch right here. It's, it has to be up for the, and the door to actually open. So this switch has to be up for the door to actually open. We also have a DNA and fingerprint reading machine. And so you hit this level to, to bring fingerprints and this level to read DNA, or even both if you're not quite sure which which piece of, piece of evidence you got. And just again, detail, Literally everything, I, I put a crafters, I put a bunch of craft mechanical crafters in the back, and they all special names. Look, sequencer, translation selector, identification chamber, interpreter. I'm big on details, so even if no one's probably gonna ever see the sequencer and the translation selectors, I know it's there, and it makes me happy. We also have just a little table. We have some su suspect files and just a little table to do any research you need to do. Up here, we actually have very, have a very important part. We have some cryo storage. There's not much in here, but I add a little some crafters with buttons on the back and like a little I don't know lodestone scaffolding thing. And just in case you get locked in, and actually while we're doing the showcase, I'm gonna actually do some adding. 
So I, I came up here and noticed, hey, the rest of the build's so detailed. Why isn't this wall? So I'm just gonna add maybe a few buttons here and there. Might even get, this, this might be a little crazy, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a butch sign. So I added a little butch sign there, just for a bit of detail. It's literally thundering outside in Minecraft, that's cool. And um, to give you a hint about that, how that door opens, I'm gonna give you a little peek. peek. Okay, that's all yet. Now I, I would like to do some more real-time building, but I got a little bit build happy. All right, I just couldn't stop building. Also down here we have um, an interrogation room. And you may be wondering, how did you get those bubble columns without the water? Let me show you. Quick reminder, soul stand, um, the floor you wanted to blend in with. Water, 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 water. Two blocks above it. Boom. Uh, powdered snow bucket, powdered snow bucket, powdered snow, powdered snow bucket, water. Next thing you need to do is you need to break these blocks here. Next, now in survival, you can't really do this step unless you literally build the bubble elevator in a portal. You surround the soul, but in creative, you can definitely do this. You surround the soul sandstone with the end portal. Then you activate the end portal, fill it with an, fill it in with eyes of enter. Now, hopefully, so you, so you see nothing here. You see no soul sand. You see no water, but still. Now note, if you just stand right here, it won't do anything. Cause usually the soul sand's right here. So you have to jump, but once you jump, it'll lift you all the way up. It's a really cool trick. Anyway, this is episode two of Building with Captain Mindblank. I'm actually really proud of this build. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. This is Captain Mindblank. And I am out. See you next time in another amazing build.